This is a major all-star team. These performers, they're fantastic. I can't imagine a better cast. It's a great group. We had a blast in rehearsal. To have this collection of people on one CD for this show that is so beautiful and such a jewel box of a piece is going to make it a really special recording. I had come to learn by working on it how brilliantly written the show is and how perfectly constructed. Every song and every adjective chosen, every lyric, it is so well crafted, this show. It's too nice, it's too nice, too nice to be stuck inside, 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 inside of a store. We're getting our own, we're getting our sun tan, sun tan. I think Sheldon Harnick's like the master of musical theater lyrics. He's able to capture the right perfect combination of words in a simple, heartfelt way that the character would speak. The lyrics are as smart as the book. They're witty and smart and funny and also very poignant. Each one of these songs helps you along. I think that's the great thing about this score. Have you set your calendar for Tuesday? When we bring this chapter to a close. When I meet my lady of the letters, who puts tiny faces in her oaths. In the freezing world. There's nothing in there that's superfluous or that's less than amazing. It has at least five tunes that I just, they're desert island tunes. I would describe it as perfect. I think this is a perfect musical. The lyrics are just an extension of the scenes. It's so well written and the flow of it is so beautiful. I just feel so incredibly blessed that I am able to sing them. Ice cream, he brought me ice cream, vanilla ice cream, imagine that. Vanilla Ice Cream is such an incredible song, you know, as a soprano to get like a funny sort of patter number is very rare and then that big note at the end. It's very rare to get to be funny, like really funny and also moving but then sing this coloratura soprano music. It's so rare, I can't, I can't think of another role that asks that of you truly. Act two called A Trip to the Library, which I, have, I just think is one of the best sort of monologue songs that I've ever gotten to perform. And there was this dear, sweet, clearly respectable, thickly bespectacled man who stood by my side and quietly said to me, ma'am. Don't mean to intrude. But every day I find in performing it, every night I find new things that I love about it. It's been a joy to play with that and to get to color it. A trip to the library has made a new girl of me. For suddenly I can see the magic of books. The flowers, the linen, the crystal I see were carefully chosen for people like me. Dear Friend is a, is a, it's a masterpiece. I mean, you couldn't change a note of that and make it better. Who hasn't felt that broken heart? And so the little journey that they take you on from, you know, the flowers, the linen, the crystal I see were carefully chosen for people like me into, you know, please make it right. Don't break my heart. Don't let it end, dear friend. It sounds so simple, but it's just so, it goes like, like a laser beam right to your heart. Please make it right. Don't break my heart. Don't let it end, dear friend. The thing that I think is important about being in the studio with this piece is it's finding a brand new audience in 2016 and it makes it relevant now and we're, we're finding a whole new generation of people to listen so thank god we're recording it Ilona, you feel it i know let's It is so special to preserve the show, at least vocally, and I'm so glad that we got the opportunity to do that. We worked really hard to bring the show together, and, and audiences have been really awesome and supportive, and it's a very special and cool thing to be able to have something to commemorate that. You know, when I'm 60, I can go back and go, oh yeah, we did that. <laughs>
we accomplished that, you know. Two more minutes, three more seconds, ten more hours to go. I'll know when this is done, if something's ended or begun. And if it goes, all right, who knows, I might propose tonight at any thrilled that we're getting to preserve this. The cast is so remarkable, so to be able to to play this one day for my children, and, you know, their children, feels exciting. Broadway's so unique and special in a lot of ways, but one of those is that, you know, for the most part, you don't get to experience it unless you experience it, unless you're there and you get to see the show. So when you get to do something that will live on in posterity is a really beautiful thing. It's a delightful show, but I've had like, delightful is like a great word to describe how enjoyable this entire process has been with th these amazing people, this brilliantly talented cast, the creative teams that are unbelievable. It's been a delightful, delightful ride working with all of them. Oh, I'm tingling, such delicious tingles. I'm trembling, what the hell does that mean? I'm freezing, that's because it's cold out. And still I'm incandescent and like some adolescent, I'd like to scrawl on every wall I see.